You need a break. This is Pastor Elliot Cook here at Jackson Street Baptist Church here on the west side of Scranton, Pennsylvania to give you that break. It's my pleasure to share with you uh, just some thoughts to slow you down and get you thinking on some important things. Of course, this is Mother's Day weekend and we have that Mother's Day coming up. And I just want to remind, uh, especially the gentlemen among us, uh, that it is important to honor your mother, your wife, your daughter. Uh, one, because she is your mother. One, because she is the mother of your children and your daughters, because one day we hope and pray that they will be mothers themselves. You know, it's a good rule of thumb for men everywhere to treat all women with respect and dignity as if they were our mothers, our wives, and our daughters. It's really what we need to do because they are somebody's mother, wife, and daughter. My mother retired down in North Carolina and I got to visit her if I was lucky twice a year uh, because of vacation schedules and, and difficulties. Uh, that would be a good year. Perhaps one year we visited three times, but the interactions were limited to the telephone and then to Skype. And that's all we had for the most part, except for our, our twice a year visits. But uh, now that she's passed, I, I don't have that opportunity. But I do remember thinking to myself, if I am kind to other people's uh, wives and mothers and daughters, somebody will be kind to my mother and be there in her time of need when I can't, just as I am in somebody else's um, life when they need someone and their son or daughter is unable to minister to them, I take their place. I'm hoping and praying that somebody will be there in my mother's time of need and in crisis. And there were many people over the years who did step in, who were part of her support network. And it, it's a communal mindset that we all must have in our society that we take care of one another and that we minister to one another, especially the fairer sex. Not because they're not strong women and can't handle things on their own, but because they're worthy of honor and respect. That's why we hold the doors open for them. It's not a sexist thing like they can't open the door. I've had women open the door for me and, and I walk through and say, thank you very much. There's nothing wrong with that. But a, a, a gentleman, a man ought to do this not because uh, they can't or they're, they're, they're the weaker sex, but because we honor you women. Uh, we care about you and we want somebody to be there uh, for our mothers, our wives, our daughters when we can't. And so in case you're wondering, uh, let me read with to you a passage from Proverbs 31 this weekend talking about uh, the godly woman, um, verse 28 of 31. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you surpass them all, he's quoted as saying. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. I'd like to pray for you mothers specifically and for the role that we all have in society to, to give honor and reverence to you. Heavenly Father, we pray for mothers everywhere. Some have plenty of support network around them and, and uh, wonderful families that are engaged in helping them. Others, Father, are on their own and have such a difficult time and have no support. Father, in that whole spectrum, Father, we pray for each one. We know the role of, of mothers in, in our lives and in society, how integral they are to making us healthy and, and providing for, for not just our, our, our being and our families being, but really our communities, our society, our entire country. Father, we pray your blessing upon each one that you would give them clear thought and understanding as to the best way to, to proceed, especially in times of crisis. Um, 
Come and draw near to them, Father, when they feel alone. Wrap your loving arms around them and strengthen them, Father, uh, for the task that is before them, Father. And I do pray for the rest of us who aren't mothers that we would honor such women, uh, that we would be there for them and that we would uh, help and support them. Uh, please, Father, give us this understanding as a community, as a society, Father. I ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, this is Pastor Elliot Cook. You need a break. I just gave you a break. Men, let's do our best this week and put our best foot forward to the women in our lives, shall we? God bless you. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you Sunday, 10 a.m., Jackson Street Baptist Church. God bless.